Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to import an SRT file that has been created by your subtitler or your subtitling service or maybe automatically generated somewhere. I'm going to show you how to bring them in. We're going to do two versions. We'll do English subtitles as well as Hindi ones. And as a bonus, I'll show you how to find different languages when it does come to foreign closed captioning. All right, let's jump in. All right, uh, we've got some exercise files. Um, in your exercise files, go to subtitles, bring in your, there's one called uh, xdintro.mp4. Bring that in. Okay, and what we're going to do is if you haven't already switched to your captioning uh, workspace, we're going to import captions from file. We'll start with this English one here. Okay, so when I'm doing work, we get our English subtitles done uh, by Larry. Okay, Larry's our subtitler and he often does a Hindi one as well. So we'll show you how to bring in both of those. The file often used is an SRT. There are other files. Um, it's That file there is uh, created by subtitling software. Okay, so we're gonna import it and everything by the default works great. The only thing you might change is if you've got a pre-made style. Let's click OK. And you can see there's all the captions that get done. Ours is, the video is a lot longer and um, I've left all the um, captions in there. I've cut down the video just for file size in this course, but let's have a look. Let's start playing and see if they match up. Hi there, my name is Dan. Hey, and I'm his name is Dan. Certified instructor. Now together, yeah. there you go. You can see instead of creating them manually, well, they've been created manually by somebody else. Okay, uh, and these are all the captions. If you want to import another one, let's say we're doing another language, okay, it's kind of weird. Like I couldn't figure it out for a long time because you can't get back to that import. It's not in here. It might be in there now. They're, they're changing this captioning workflow a lot lately. I know there's lots of updates in the future coming. Uh, so there might be an easier option here. It says import again. But at the moment, what I have to do is kind of import it manually. So bring it down here. Uh, so I'll bring in my uh, Hindi ones, okay. And uh, what you can do is over here, you can right click Add another track to the subtitles. Okay, I'm gonna leave it all normal. Okay, you can have two sets of subtitles and all you need to do is drag it in and mine kind of match up with the last one. So I'm just gonna get them to try and match up. How well did that work? Yeah, worked good. Okay, so now I've got two. You can only have one on at a time. You see this, if I turn the eyeball off on this one, you see they kind of toggle each other because um, you can only have one set on at the moment at a time. That might change as well. And um, one thing with the second set, especially if it's in another language uh, and you don't have, like at the moment it's trying to use Helvetica to display this and it's the wrong language. You can see it displayed properly over here. So you need to find a font that works. You might have one on your, you know, your computer already. You can just select it from your fonts. If you don't, go to add Adobe fonts. Okay, it'll open up the website and along the top here, there's languages and writing systems. Okay, you might find it in here. Okay. Um, well, you will, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully there's a font in the language that you need. Uh, our one is uh, Devanagari. Okay, and these are the fonts that's gonna give us the right word. Now, I need to double check all of this because I don't speak that language and I need to have uh, Larry double check things for us. And um, so let's, you know, I've got this font installed. Okay, uh, really common one for those characters. Okay, but yeah, you can click on them and activate them and they will load into Premiere Pro. I'm just gonna give it a second. So this is this one, Devanagari. I'm sure that's not how you pronounce it, but let's do it. Let's go Devanagari. Actually, there's a bunch of ones already built into this machine. Okay, I'm gonna use the Adobe one. Okay, and in our case as well, we wanna do it for each of them. So we're gonna create a style. So this first one, we're gonna get it how we want. Do we want the bold one? We've only got bold, size-wise. Especially if we're going to burn it in for social media, it might have to be bigger. Go for the background. And up here where it says track style, we're going to go create new style. Click OK. And by default, it, it normally kind of applies itself all the way along for some reason. I don't know why. It's helpful. <laughs> it's done the whole track style. You don't have to apply it. It's not per subtitle. There you go, so that's two different languages. All right, that's how to import SRTs. We've done two different tracks. I'm gonna now show you how to export them in the next video.